Welcome to this video about proxy creation with Shutter Encoder. So first, I have my source folder which contain every day and camera one, two, GoPro, DJI, everything else. So I drop this main folder into the file list. Then I choose in choose function. For example, Apple Press set to proxy bitrate. Now you can click into overlay if you need to, to display a text. We can choose to display proxy. Also, if you need to, in corner tree section, you can apply a LUT. Then we click into advanced features, where you can choose to conform your frame rate to get a constant frame rate. I will choose to check force resolution 2 and set to 720p. You can choose between three different modes, adapt, stretch or crop. I'll add to adapt. Then we have preserve folder hierarchy to maintain the same structure from input to output. Then we have to drag drop my output folder, which named proxies, which is empty for now. I just drag drop to the destination and start function. When your transcoding is done, you can see in proxies, we have the same structures and source. Let's move this folder into the parent folder. And then we have it, proxies with day one, camera one, etc. with my ProS proxy. If you don't want the suffix created by Shutter Encoder, you can click into settings icon, then check replace suffix by and let this box empty. It will generate without ProRes proxy suffix.